Hey guys, and welcome back to another Unfiltered Gamer board game review for the game Traps by Coca Games. It plays two to four players, takes 60 to 90 minutes, and is for ages eight and up. And in the game, you are basically playing as a human and animal companion, uh, or I should say duo, attempting to cross the jungle and escape first before the other players do. You have to be utilizing die or dice, depending on what you animals and or humans you have out in the field, laying out traps for your opponents, scoring treasure along the way, and escorting your opponents back to the starting space while you get to the end. Now, of course, there's some rules as to how you can do that, whether you land on somebody else's trap and have to pay them or go back entirely, or as well as, of course, getting that human exactly the numbers needed in order to reach that end spot. Can you reach the end before your opponent's team does? find out in the game traps let's go ahead and enter the jungle right now welcome to the jungle and the game we call traps currently have the game set up for two players and let's talk about the setup firstly you'll be taking out a player board for every player in the game so i have a green and red here if you're playing with if you're not playing with yellow or blue you can go ahead and set these guys aside give each player a random human character and animal character card place it in the areas it says to place them and their standees in the corresponding start space indicated by the word start on the game board the game board should also be out the die should be set somewhere within reach of all players and the money in each of the money pit areas from five all the way to a hundred bucks you'll also have shuffled trap cards this whole big stack here shuffle them and then deal out five to every player Give every player 250 gold and all of the flags they'll need to show what traps are theirs throughout the game. There's also a rule book to indicate any additional rules you may need, but I'm going to explain it right now. To begin the game, each player will roll a die, and the player who rolls the highest is the player who will go first. So in this case, red would begin the game. In order to begin the game, you're simply going to start by taking part of the three phases of play on your turn. You'll roll, you'll draw, then you'll play cards, and then you'll pass. After you've passed, the next player will get a chance to go, and it will continue through the board until somebody gets all the way across the board to the finish line. So, let's show you a turn. Basically, you're going to roll a die for each character that is not that is not uh, that is currently on the field. And if no characters on the field, you'll just roll one. Then after that, you'll choose one of your two characters, your animal or human companions, and you will move them the number of spaces that you rolled, one, two, and three. After you've rolled, there's a couple of things that you can do, and you can look at your board here to indicate what they do. The first thing is, if you roll past one of these guys or land on one, you'll gain 20 bucks. Additionally, if you were to roll that three and move on to a space with another player, you'll be able to take 10 bucks from them. If they have both of their characters on that space, you'll take 10 bucks from both of the characters of that player, but you can only choose one player when you land on the space. Another thing that's interesting too is if you roll doubles, so for instance, if I rolled two twos, I would be able to go again, but only roll one die and select one character to move that number of spaces. After you have moved and, of course, uh, rolled and moved all of your characters, your turn will end. Uh, sorry, your, your, roll, your roll turn will end, and you'll go on to your draw. And how drawing works is pretty simple. The first thing is you can buy up to two trap cards. Each trap card will cost you 10 bucks. You'll draw them from the top of the deck and put them into your hand. You can't have more than seven cards ever, and you can have any number of discards. So if you ever go over seven, you'll have to discard down to seven at the end of your turn. After that, you can go on to play. You can play up to two traps from your hand. And the way you play traps are either face up or face down. If it's purple, you probably want to play it face down. And whenever you want to reveal it, basically when somebody lands on it, you can go ahead and flip it over for its cost and do it at whatever it says. And it will remain on the board until someone discards it or somebody pays to remove it when you can't utilize it when it's face down. Additionally, you can never place a trap farther than seven spaces away from your character. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. These are the spaces in which you can play a trap, as well as these ones over here for this specific character. And if you place a trap down and it's your trap, you'll take your flag and place it on it to signify that that is your trap throughout the game. Uh, another thing to note is when playing traps, if you happen to have three traps on the field that are next to each other, you nor another player may play a trap that is adjacent to three traps that are already connected. So for instance, if Green wanted to play one here, he couldn't. Additionally, no one can play traps on the spaces that already provide a specific action on the board. After traps have been played, then you could also go ahead and sell face up traps for half their value. However, you can't sell face down ones because they don't cost anything until you flip them face up. 
Uh, you can use any number of uh, actions in the game. These are actions that you're going to get throughout the game. There's a cost on them. If you pay them, you can do what they say. As many as you have and as much money as you have to utilize them, you can go ahead and do so. And finally, the last thing that you can do is you can use your ability cards. You have two to begin the game with. Once you utilize them for any reason, they get flipped over and you can't use them again for the rest of the game. After you've chosen to play anything that you can possibly play, then your turn will be over and the next player will get a chance to go, thusly rolling his die or dice, moving characters, placing down or drawing traps, placing them down, utilizing actions, selling if they would like to, and using their ability cards, and then it will continue from there. There's a couple unique spaces on the board, like for instance this one here, which I told you about already, it's 20 bucks whenever you land on or past it, but never if you're going backwards. Medical huts will basically be a place you'll have to return to if you ever land on a nasty space or a card says so. And then chance cards will allow you to draw a card from the deck. If it's an action, you can keep it. If it's a trap, you'll suffer its negative effects. And then you've also got the finish line. In general, the finish line just means when you get there, you win. But there's a couple rules to it. So for instance, if both of my characters are here, I get to roll both die because I have two characters on the board. And then I can move characters. The animal can always overshoot the finish line. So in this case, he needs a two or more. So if I had perhaps rolled, oh, I don't know, a four, the animal can go across and would be successful. The human player, however, needs to get the exact amount. So in this case, one and two would do it. But if I had a four, I would not be able to do it because I would need to have the exact number in order to achieve victory. If you can get both of your characters to the finish line, however, you'll win as long as no one else is there before you. And that's basically the idea of the game Traps. Gather as much gold as you can, move your characters around, secure locations, place traps, and get to the end before any other player. Let's review it. Traps is very simple. It's a roll, draw, play style game. You'll take your turn, you'll do the three things you need to do, and then you will pass and somebody else will do those things. First person to get to the end is the winner. You'll roll die based on the number of characters you have, then you're going to move those players uh, or characters in certain areas. You will then choose to draw cards from the deck, utilizing them to play down onto the board, face up or face down, to try and ensnare your opponents, and of course, gain the coveted points that you'll need in order to survive the jungle. Uh, the game is going to come with a ton of different trap cards that you'll be utilizing that you'll can, you can drop on the field with certain parameters and rules, of course, along with a ton of gold, which you'll need in order to not have to go back spaces as well as to pay for the traps and actions you want to play along the way. You're also going to get an animal and a human companion that you're going to be using and maneuvering throughout the field as you try and avoid your opponent's traps, maybe even land on your own areas that you've played down and of course uh, go across those coveted little gold area spaces that can net you currency along the way. Each of your characters have unique abilities which is really cool because they're all a functional thing that you can do once a, a game but it's going to be done in a pivotal moment which will really come in handy. The game is all about making sure that you place traps accordingly, that you can pay for them, and that you have enough money to survive other players' traps as you go through. It's a simple style game, and basically one of those classic mechanisms of rolling and moving with two unique styles of play based on the number of animal and or characters that you have out in the field, how many die you can roll, making sure the animal can overcross the finish line, but if he does that, then the human has to get exactly the number in order to make it there. So you have to kind of think strategically how you want to place your characters down and where you want them to move and when you want to utilize them. It's not simply roll, move, roll, move. It has a little bit more to it uh, based on what traps you want to save or when you want to use them and how you want to play them. Uh, the different angles in which you can go ahead and trek the jungle. And of course, some areas are going to be farther than others, but may have less traps and may contain less possible uh, negative encounters you have to suffer. The fact that only players uh, that have traps can play them uh, seven spaces or closer towards their characters, meaning that if you're far enough away, you can kind of avoid those traps and set them up for other other players is really useful, but then actions come into play when you want to deal with somebody that's farther away. And of course, utilizing these wonderful little 3D printed models of the little flags that you're going to have as you place them on your traps throughout the game. If you like a family style game that has a roll to move aspect as well as a drawing cards and playing traps down the field to mess with players, uh, then this is going to be for you. It's kind of like a nice mid modern slash classic game that fits in both parameters. Uh, most people who have played the basic style games, some, similar to like uh, Trouble Yahtzee Parcheesi, those ty type of things, or Candyland, 
the bit of luck and chance encounters that you're going to come across. And then the added strategy of a more modern style game uh, is going to enjoy this because it has the unique depth and strategy to it, but it also has that luck and take that aspect for a kid's game. Um, typically, I would probably rate this game for families. I would say this is good for younger teens. This might even be good for kids and, and of course, you know, older adults to play together with. It's not overly complex, but there is a ton of strategy that you can develop the game and every game is going to change not based on how the map is laid out but how you choose to lay the traps out on the map based on the parameters available to you uh, the quality of the game is solid what i have here i'm curious to see what they're going to do in, on, in the updates you'll see on the kickstarter page because this is obviously a prototype and things will change um, but as i see as it stands here this is an easy game i can bring out to a family gathering for four of us to play and have a good time i played of course with a full group of adults and we all had a ton of fun playing this game uh, some little negative bits i suppose that it might affect you not modern gamers is it's possible for you to lose turns it's possible for you to go back to start or it's possible for you to go back a certain number of spaces based on if you land on nasty traps or other locations and of course there is the aggressive aspect of the game you can really mess with your opponents as long as you're willing to pay to do so so you don't ever want to mess with somebody who's behind you because that's not going to be worth it in pushing yourself ahead you're always going to want to kind of push against the player in in first place which also gives the added bonus of you never know who's going to win because even if somebody's at the very end of the game they might not secure the victory because you might be able to roll and succeed by getting to where you need to get before they're able to do so overall it's a lot of fun though if you don't mind one of those games with all the different additives i've explained you like a game that's family friendly with the style of animals and humans the unique strategy of placing down traps and all the hidden different things that can come across in the game and of course the hidden powers of your characters then definitely take a look at the game traps link down below in the description thank you guys for watching another unfiltered gamer board game review for the game traps if you're interested like i said there's a link down below in the description for you to pick up the game you can also go ahead and subscribe to the channel hit that subscribe button and of course that bell notification button as well so you can see more of our videos for games just like this one speaking of games like this one our live stream every wednesday 6 30 p.m pst where we play games in the same variety as this one I wanted to say something different than the same as this one. <laughs> you can also go ahead and check out our Patreon. A buck a month helps us support us, making our do, us do more live streams and whatnot. We're going to have a new studio, a new, new house. So things are going to be changing in the next coming weeks here. Uh, new change of scenery. And hopefully we'll be having a budget to make a nice, uh, a nice set for you guys to see us show you more games. Uh, also, Kelly's game, Moonshell Mermaid Game, is coming out. I've given you guys updates on the previous videos. Nothing new has changed in the last day or so. But uh, just know that it's there and the store is still open for those of you who have not seen it yet link down below as well all right guys that's all i got for you this time and as always i look forward to playing with you in the jungle next time i was gonna make a Jumung jumanji re reference but i didn't really know how to do that one in the jungle you must wait until the dice roll five or eight